How old are you? 17. How old are you? 14 years old. How old are you? 19. How old are you? 45. How often would you say you watch Disney movies? Not a lot. Would you say you watch Disney movies? Like one every six months. How often do you watch Disney movies? Almost never. How often would you say you watch Disney movies? I don't necessarily watch Disney movies, um, uh, but more so Disney cartoons, I'd say. But I mean, I've seen Disney movies, but just don't, I don't watch them every week. Have you ever noticed specific roles designated to either the male or female population in a Disney movie? No. Have you ever noticed specific roles designated to either the female or male population in a Disney movie? Yes. Have you ever noticed specific roles designated to either the female or male population in any Disney movie you've watched? Yes, all of them. Have you ever noticed specific roles designated to either the female or male population in a Disney movie? Mm, yes. Yes. After watching the video, how are men and women perceived in comparison to each other? What did you notice their applicable role in society to be? The woman mainly stayed at home, the men went out a lot. According to the video, how are women and men perceived in comparison to each other? What did you perceive the applicable role to be in society? So the women are always like cleaning or like cooking and the men are always like saving the women. How are women and men perceived in comparison to each other? What did you perceive their applicable role to be in society? Depending on which movie, um, if there's a strong male role, usually any females associated are under and it kind of goes both ways. If there's a strong female role, then there's an accompanying, accompanying male character who's a lesser. According to the video, how are women and men perceived in comparison to each other? What, what did you perceive the applicable role to be in society? Mm -hmm. The woman, the, the female character is usually more the submissive, um, um, The male character, you know, is the fighter, the dominant one. Um, that's what I see. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a woman into a princess? What did you notice repeatedly? I don't know. I don't know. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a woman into a princess according to the Disney movie clips? What did you notice repeatedly? They're always really skinny, and they always wear like pretty dresses, and they're all pretty and stuff. <laughs> what characteristics do princesses not have? Things that you notice princesses don't have in movies. They're not like bigger, or like they're not poor or dirty. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a woman into a princess according to the Disney movie clips? What did you notice repeatedly? In any of the Disney movie clips with a strong female or male role, they tend to be, like the video explained, different, either chiseled or beautiful in a way to show that they're the princess or king. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a woman into a princess according to the Disney movie clips? What did you notice repeatedly? Uh, the woman, uh, the, the princess in the movie is always beautiful, thin, you know, uh, beautiful dresses, clothing, makeup, you know, princesses are beautiful. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a man into a prince? What did you notice repeatedly? John Cena like qualities. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a boy into a prince according to the Disney movie clips? What did you notice repeatedly? That they all have big muscles and they're usually like associated with someone who's like bigger and that's like an outcast. In your own definition, can you elaborate upon the characteristics that make a boy into a prince according to the Disney movie clips? What did you notice repeatedly? Usually the boy into a prince is um, uh, the physical body shape, uh, strong, big muscles, um, hunter, um, they're, you know, very physical, they ride in coming in on a horse, this kind of, this type of thing. Do you think that Disney movies accurately portray today's society's view on gender roles and the jobs affiliated or expected of each gender? Yes, because women can do more.
video, do you think that Disney movies accurately portray today's society's view of gender roles and the jobs affiliated or expected of each gender? I think it kind of depends on like the location because in some countries it's like they are, it's accurately portrayed, but like in our country I really don't think it is that much because women can be like higher up. So. Watching the video, do you think that Disney movies accurately portray today's society's view on gender roles and the jobs affiliated or expected of each gender? So, in a way, yes, but as far as most job places go, I think gender equality has equaled out a lot more than it has in the past, and it's especially different from most Disney movies. After watching the video, do you think that Disney movies accurately portray today's society's view of gender roles and the jobs affiliated or expected of each gender? Um, no, definitely not. Um, uh, gender roles with the female and males definitely um, aren't like for today's society. Um, women work just as much as men work. Um, the physical attributes, you don't see characters with um, disabilities and this type of thing, so definitely not. Um, so looking at the perspectives of the Disney and um, gender roles affiliated with different genders, we can look from a functionalist point of view how their view on their certain body type would affect them in society or um, because they grew up watching Disney movies, what kind of job they're going to pick or if they think they have to be a stay-at-home mom because they got that idea from the movie. Whereas a conflict perspective will look at the idea that not all races within Disney movies are accurately portrayed, which can cause that specific race to become aggravated um, because they're, they're using symbols of what other individuals will associate that specific race to. So what they're essentially doing is putting a symbol to a race, which if not careful, can aggravate some individuals. So that is what a conflict perspective will look like and a symbolic um, perspective will look at those different symbols that individuals use to associate different races. Um, growing up as a kid, you watch Disney movies, you watch princess movies, um, you watch your hero save the princess, which is why as you grow up, you're really, you're really connected to Disney and what it taught you, which is why in society today, lots of girls, along with men, are so affected by what it's teaching um, with all the products and all the advertising that Disney does. It also affects how much it is affecting kids nowadays. Whereas if Disney wasn't a multi-million corporation, I don't think it would have the effect on kids that it does today. It would have less of an effect. It would be teaching kids less and it wouldn't have an impact that it does on young individuals growing up as it does now. Um, and the last question is more of an opinion based uh, according to society today. So after watching Disney movies, uh, do you think that they accurately portray today's society's view on gender roles and the jobs affiliated or expected of each gender? Um, I don't think they, they accurately portray um, current uh, lifestyle expectations, but I think that there is a story behind them. I don't think there's something wrong with that. I think it's a um, historical piece. I mean, it's a fairy tale. Um, I just think that the Disney movies themselves over-exaggerate the, the gender roles. So I don't think there's anything wrong with a story like Cinderella, where someone overcomes something. I think it teaches things to children, but I think we spend too much emphasis on how beautiful the princesses look instead of the situations and how they work through the problems that they have.